All right. It's really early. I don't know if anybody... Oh, somebody joined. Cool. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi everybody. Let me know if you can hear me. All right, I'm not using my mic this time, so hopefully it's good. Oh my god, 73 people. Thank you guys. Hi. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Thank you. Awesome. That's good. Uh, I don't really have a, a special occasion except for the strawberry robe. Um, but I thought I'd get on here and show you guys the robe and answer questions if you guys have any. So. I think the the chat's a little slow to update, so bear with me if I'm just sitting here uh, staring at the screen. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten, how comfy am I? Um, pretty comfy. This if you're talking about the robe, it's like super warm. Um, right now it's summer, so I had to turn on the AC to to be comfortable. Otherwise, it'd be too hot. But <laughs> yeah, so this is the robe. Uh, this is at least, like, this much of the robe. <laughs> to Peru. That's a good question. Um, let me check for you. If you want to check which countries I don't ship to, a good place is to go to, um, the blog. It's at the very bottom of the page. And it says Mochipan blog. Just go there and look for the one that says... It should be like shipping update. It, yeah, it just says shipping. So click on the one that says shipping and... Yeah. Hang on, I got a little, I got a little behind. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, so right now for Peru... Yeah, I ship there. There's only a few countries that I don't ship to, so you can check those out. Where am I based? Uh, the United States and Japan. Sometimes I'm in Japan, sometimes in, in the US. Just depends. Uh, thank you guys for the compliments. You're so sweet. Um, yeah, so do they look the same as in the pictures? Um, the pictures of the strawberry robe are like... I mean, that's, like, so much effort. It's, like, a team of people, like, holding things up with strings and, like, putting, um, like, wires on things to have them keep their shape. It's, it's really hard to get those kind of pictures without a giant team. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it looks pretty much the exact same. There's some minor differences, of course. I mean, you're not always, like, you're not always on a photo shoot set with, like, this team of people to make you look good. But, yeah, I think it looks about the same. How long would it take to ship to Oregon? Um, so the first question, I don't have dual citizenship. I just come back and forth. I just like it here. Right now I'm in Japan, so it's like, what, like almost 1 a.m.? 1 a.m.? Um, and how long would it take to ship to Oregon? I do have a one-week shipping option. Obviously that would take one week. Uh, otherwise, it takes about two weeks. On rare occasions, three weeks, but usually it's two. Hi guys! <laughs> Where are you guys all watching from? What time is it there for you guys? I know it's pretty early in the morning for most people. If you end up moving, I know that, uh, like, in the worst case scenario, if the item has already shipped, you can ask the post office to redirect your mail. 
in the United States at least, I'm pretty sure you can do that. And if the item hasn't shipped and you've ordered it, you can just contact us and we'll change the Canada. We'll change we'll change the address for you so it's no problem. UK, Canada, 9 a.m., noon, 5 p.m., 7.38 p.m. Where is that? 12.38. Hmm. Nice. So, okay, so there's a, a good mix of people from all over the place. That's awesome. I, uh, mo I think most of my followers are from the United States, so that's cool that there's a lot of other people here. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> From the Philippines. There's a lot of people from the Philippines where I live in Japan. So that's pretty cool. Hi! Uh, for those of you that just joined, um, let me know if you have any questions. And this is the robe. <laughs> this is the strawberry robe. Thought I'd just get on here and show it off a little bit. Hmm. Thank you. My hair is not that healthy, but I'm glad it looks like it is. That's that's good. <laughs> it's really not that healthy. I I'm not very good to it. I abuse it. I abuse my hair. Ukraine. Where am I from? I'm from the United States. Where did I get my strawberry robe? It's it's my own produced item. Mochipan.com. You can get the link in my bio. It's like the main item on my homepage. You, you'll find it everywhere. Ugh. Yeah. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I think it's important to show the face behind the business. Um... It's a little scarier because then if there's a problem, it kind of becomes my fault rather than the business's fault. Like, people will think about me when there's an issue, which is the scary part. But I try to make sure that there's no video or there's no big issues, so. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the things that you won't be able to get anywhere else because there are other people selling the same, the same item, although it's much lower quality, but they won't have these buttons. Uh, that's something that I'm really proud of. Uh, some people don't like them, and that's fair. <laughs> but, I don't know, I think they're pretty cute. And you won't be able to get these anywhere else. The quality of the fabric is higher with me. Um, the size, the biggest difference is the size. I don't have the, like, knockoff, quote-unquote, version here with me to show you guys. But, like, it's so much smaller. The sleeves would only go up to, like, right here. Whereas with mine, they're full sleeves completely. And it's roomier, so that it's not, like, tiny Asian sizing. Nothing wrong with Asian sizing, but they do run small for- if, especially if a Western person wears it. And they're longer, so if you're taller, it's good. I mean, this is- this is a size XL, and it's, like, it's giant. It's really huge. <laughs> There's not a lot of people in here, but I don't really blame you guys. It's really early. I speak in English good. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess I can talk a little bit about... While I'm waiting for the chat to catch up. Uh, the process of getting this created and getting this made with a factory. Uh, my original plan was to work with, uh, there's a lot of factories that, it's so much to explain, there's a lot of factories that make the same item every year. And the issue is that every single place that makes these has a varying standard of quality. So some places have pretty okay quality and some places are really bad. Typically the really cheap ones are the bad ones. Um, and the more expensive ones are better in quality, but 
I wanted to to buy them from one of the factories that was making them, but they weren't making them. They were all out of stock. Nobody was making these anymore. So I contacted my own factory, not my factory, but like a factory that I know of, and custom made these these robes. And yeah, I'm, it's one of the biggest projects I've ever done with this business, but I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> there was a lot of, of course, issues along the way. If you're one of the people that bought this robe, you know that it's been months, it's taken a long time, and there was an issue with the fabric at one point, the buttons almost didn't make it in time, very stressful, but yeah, overall, a really good learning experience, and I'm very, very excited that the robes are shipping and everybody's gonna get their robe, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. What languages can I speak? Um, Japanese and English. I'm trying to learn Portuguese, but not not too much yet. <laughs> How long have I been in this business? I've been, what is it, 2021? <laughs> uh, I started in 2019 in January, so it's been about two and a half years. And honestly, I really only started putting a lot of effort into it last year. It was kind of just like a small project up until then. And it's really just been wonderful turning this business into something that I'm very proud of. Korean. I don't speak Korean. Yeah, not even a little bit. <laughs> I tried to learn it once, but it didn't stick. Like Spanish and Portuguese. How old am I? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I always like to do the guess, but I don't know. Um, I'll do it anyways. Guess. Guess how old I am. Curious. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Thanks for joining. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I just forgot to answer the second part of that. If you're in a different country, that's fine. Um, you can still order from my shop. You guys are right, for the most part. Yeah, I'm 20, I'm 23. 227677V. Got it. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining. Thanks for all the likes. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing YouTube soon. At some point. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think it would be really interesting I don't know, it's my life, and I, I live my life, so it doesn't seem that interesting to me. But whenever I talk to somebody else, they're always very interested, so... Yeah, maybe I'll start making YouTube videos about it. Other than the ones that I already have planned, which are, like, crazy customer stories and things like that. There's so many funny customer stories I have. Holy crap. Some of you guys send some crazy stuff to my email, I swear. Am I interested in ballet? Uh, I mean, a little bit. It's it's not, like, one of my major interests, interests, but... What do I search up on your store for the flower button-up? Um, flower button-up. That's a good question. I'm not exactly sure which product you're talking about. You can send a message, take a screenshot of the product, and, like, if it's, like, an Instagram post, just take a screenshot of it. I'll find it for you. Can I have a hi? Hi! <laughs> Here's your hi. Yeah, 10 years. Wow. It's been a long time. How's TikTok going? TikTok is... is TikTok. It's, it's definitely a learning curve. Um, I posted a video about shopping in Tokyo Station, and I got, like, a bunch of capybara goods. And that blew up and went viral on TikTok, rather than, like, something related to my business, which would have been nice, but... (laughs) 
Your parents go to Japan too? No, my parents don't come to Japan. Um, just me. I'm kind of a, what, like a nomad, I guess is a good way to say it. I like going to new places. It's also nice to come to Japan because I speak the language, so I'm kind of a chicken when it comes to going to other places, but... But Japan is, is easy for me now because I speak it. I speak Japanese. Hi. Uh, I hope I don't mispronounce that, but hi, Namira. I hope that's right. There you go. <laughs> I hope that's right. You live in a bus? That's awesome. <laughs> Did you, like, customize the bus yourself? Like, take all the stuff out and make it into, like, a... Like, like people that live in vans, except a bus is a lot bigger, right? <laughs> That's really cool. Also, if I'm squinting, it's because my eyesight's garbage. How many countries do I think Mochipan has shipped products to? That's a good question. Um, over 20. Maybe 30. You bought it fully converted. That's awesome. Sounds expensive, but that's really cool. Well, I mean, I guess expensive in one go, but like overall much cheaper than owning a house probably, right? That's really cool. Mm. Uh, I, I gotta get better at talking during the like times I wait for chat to catch up. Oh, that's such a good deal. <laughs> that's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, if 7,500 is, yeah, that's like less than a car. <laughs> that's really cheap. That's really cool. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, I gotta I gotta watch more uh, streamers, see what they talk about during these like quiet times. What are my pronouns? She her. My eyebrows are very expressive. Cool. That's probably why I have these wrinkles up here. But thank you. <laughs> you guys can ask me anything. Ask any questions you want. Go for it. Oh, they're not natural. My natural eyebrows are, like, super blonde, so they're very hard to see. This is makeup, but... But thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I was trying to take some content for the strawberry robe tonight. I think I got some good p pictures and stuff, but I went and got some desserts. And this is one of them. I'm gonna eat it after I'm done here. It looks so good. Um, what do I do in my free time? Uh, sleep. I draw sometimes. Um, I don't know. I spend so much time working. I don't really know if I have a hobby. I like to read, like, web comics too. Uh, sometimes I watch Netflix. I don't do anything really exciting. I need, I need, like, a cool, exciting hobby that I can talk about. Uh, do I have to change myself so they will like me? Um, that's kind of sad, yo. Like, that's a little sad. No, you don't. I, I don't know how old you are. I don't know if that's a serious question, but... Yeah, uh, the older you get, the more you realize that, like, who really cares? <laughs> who really cares if people like you or not? Because you're always going to find somebody that will like you. And those are your people. Do I watch anime? Yes, I do. Oops. Man suddenly so many to see how shy yeah yeah i used to be really shy i'm still kind of shy this isn't still like 100 percent me uh it's it's kind of hard when you're just talking to like a group of people in a live chat and you can only see yourself and only hear yourself it's a it's a little weird but yeah doing my best which which web comics 
are your favorite. Um, your Throne on, on Webtoon, Line Webtoon, is really good. And I recently got into one that I, I really, really like, but it's a little spicy. It's, it's 18 plus, so I don't know if I should say. I have an art account. Yeah, I do. It's uh, Ray Cat, like R-E-I-C-A-T-T. I don't update there very much though, so don't don't expect anything. I like occasionally if I draw something I like, maybe I'll put it on there. That's about it. Oh yeah, no problem. Ask any questions again if I forget to uh, answer them or if you miss them, go ahead and ask them again. I've been in business for about two and a half years. How have I been doing? Pretty good. I'm going back to the United States on June 10th. So, that'll be pretty cool. What animes do I... Have I watched or recommend? Uh... <sighs> recommend. The, so, uh, what is it in English? Fumetsu no Anata. To Your Eternity, I think, in English. That one's really good. It's pretty sad, though. So, be prepared to cry. Uh... I am 13. My f friends my age don't like, but when I talk to old people, they think I am cool. Be careful talking to older people. Some older people are weird. Like, seriously. Just be careful. But, yeah, um, being young is hard. Being young kind of sucks. Like, a lot of people, when you're young, you want to grow up fast, and then, I don't know, I think, I think 20s is a good age, and I'm sure when I'm in my 30s, I'll look back and think of myself in my 20s and be like, oh, I was so stupid. Probably, but. Do I have an art account? Yeah, I just answered that, but I'll answer it again. It's Raycat, R-E-I-C-A-T-T. That's the art account. And again, I don't post there very much, so don't expect anything. <laughs> my eyes, thank you. Thank you. My eyes, I'm, I'm a fan of my eye color. I, I must say, I, I do like my eyes. It's one of my favorite features about myself, so. That means a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> I said some. I said some older people are are, uh, are creepy. Some older people are a little sketchy. Not all. Yeah, I can do that. I think I can do that. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall. This is very... Oh... This is very jerry-rigged here. It's not... <laughs> Algeria. Yeah, I would assume that you don't talk in English in Algeria, and that'd be kind of... English-speaking countries. I guess there's more English... Hmm. What's it like in Algeria? Is it... Well, what's the weather like? Is it cold there in the winter? Fifteen people. Fifteen. Oh, fourteen. Fourteen troopers hanging in. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, sorry, my nose is so itchy. I think it's allergies. It's just like, ugh, right there. Uh, if you guys want to follow my main account, well... Maybe main is the wrong word. My private account. My personal account. My personal account. Um, feel free to do that. I post... Sometimes I post some things that I can't really post here, like... Uh, like roasting some weird customer interactions or, you know, just like updates that I don't really post here. And it's also got a lot about my life in... Oh gosh. It's also got a lot about my life in Japan and the things that I'm doing, if you're interested. And I'll just drop that here. Just so you can have it. Um, how are you for translations? Yeah. Yeah. Well, one of the issues is that I've learned that a lot of Spanish-speaking countries aren't really interested in my products. Or they're interested and maybe my price tag is too high. I, there's, it's, it's, there's some research that needs to be done. It's a little stressful. Algeria is boring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think everybody feels that way about the country they live in. I, well, I, I guess the United States isn't boring. The United States is crazy, but 
Maybe not in a good way, but who knows? I don't really pay much attention. people so yeah I know it's pretty early and or like an inconvenient time for you guys um so it totally makes sense why there's so few of you but if you guys have any questions want to know anything about this robe just let me know I'm here to answer the questions how am I I'm good how are you Government problems. Yeah, there's a lot of government problems in the world right now. That's why I don't pay attention to politics, because it's kind of sad. <laughs> Is there shipping to Arab cities? Yeah, I believe so. I'm not really sure what you mean by cities, um, because I'm not familiar with that area of the world. But I ship a lot of products there. Just depends. If you can give me like a specific place, maybe I could tell you a little bit better. But again, if you guys want to check the um, places that I don't ship to, if you go down to the very bottom of the website, there's there's a link that says Motipan blog. Just click that, scroll down a little bit more, it'll say shipping. Click on that blog post and it'll tell you the countries that I don't ship to right now. The countries and or areas. Ah, okay. This is a really good question. I'm glad you asked that. So I've... I've seen a lot of pics on your account that are also on other shops slash accounts. Do your products actually look like the photos? Very good question. A lot of people take the pictures from the factory that makes them. Um, this goes back to, I was explaining earlier how there's a lot of different factories that make the same product. There will be the original factory who makes the original product and has the original pictures. That's where those pictures are coming from, with that original factory, with the best quality, I mean, that's, that's where the original product is from. So it's the best factory to get these items from. But a lot of other factories will produce, um, like, cheaper versions so they can try to undercut or... Uh, yeah, I think undercut's the best word. So they can undercut the original factory and sell more products because they're cheaper. Um, and... The issue with that is they'll use the exact same photos, but the quality isn't the same. So a lot of times if you buy something from like online websites, you'll see the picture and then you'll see the thing that you get is like, it's the, it's the, technically the same product, but it's very different. It doesn't look like the photos at all. Uh, that happens because the cheaper factories are making these products and using the photos of the original factory. Does that make sense? I'm kind of bad at explaining things. Let me know if that didn't make sense. But... Where that comes in, where the answer comes in here is I work with the original factories as much as possible. Like, I have good relationships with all of those factories and I do my best to work with those factories and I buy one of each product I sell to ensure quality. That being said, sometimes the original factory themselves brings down the quality without me knowing and I end up selling products to people that aren't as good as I want them to be. They're not up to my standard. So you can always message me if your product is not good, it doesn't look like the photo. It, you have to send me photos though. I had this one person email me and said, I hate this product, it doesn't look anything like the pictures, so I threw it away. <laughs> and if they had sent me pictures of the product and like explained their issue a little bit more, I would have given them a refund. I'll always give you guys a refund if I truly believe that the product does not reflect the quality that I want my customers to have. Of course I will give you a refund. But that person threw it away, so I couldn't give them a refund. They didn't ref they didn't provide any photos. They didn't provide... They couldn't even send the product back. I mean, usually, unless you live in a really hard place to ship things out of, I will ask for the product back. You send it back. Um, and if you can't do that, then it's... I mean, even Amazon does that, you know? My return policy is a little bit stricter, or a lot more strict, than Amazon. Um, that's because I'm a much smaller business. But even Amazon asks you to send the product back. So as long as you're able to send the product back, it's usually not that big of a deal. And yeah, let me know if that didn't answer your question um, completely. Or if you have any other follow-up questions. Again, I'm not the best at explaining things. Because my brain, my brain ha is not 
great. <laughs> it's not great all the time. Um, <laughs> catching up. I'm sorry to hear that the situation in Algeria is not that great. That's unfortunate. I know, like I said earlier, a lot of countries are, uh, are kind of struggling right now. And I'm very lucky to, even though the United States is crazy, for the most part it's pretty stable. And I'm pretty lucky to live there. And Japan's even better. Especially because I don't pay attention to politics, so I guess if you don't know about the problems, they don't exist. <laughs> Excuse me. 13 people. Yeah, but I'm glad to hear from my followers and know what kind of people are following me. It's it's a lot better than just seeing names on a screen. Actually having an interaction is, is pretty cool. So. I'm also wearing the, uh, the strawberry in my in my hood. I'm also wearing the pajamas, the matching pajamas that go with this. Right here. The strawberry sailor pajamas. And I have some of the slippers. Some of the strawberry slippers. Pretty cute. And I uh, have a Buck basket bucket bucket of strawberries i've been trying to take content for like the last four hours it's been a lot price for all uh price for all i don't remember the exact price on the pajamas it, i think it might be 49.99 but i know this one is 72.99 for sure and you can use code mochi m-o-c-h I, yes, M-O-C-H-I, for 15% off, so you can get a little extra off of that. I know the price tag is a little steep, but, uh, it's, I, I think it's really worth it. It's nice, soft fabric, really cozy, really warm, custom buttons. Again, a lot of factories make the same product. Mine is better. It just is. Like, the, the sizing is bigger, the sleeves are longer, everything about it is better. But a lot of people do make the same product and use the same pictures. But you will never find another robe unless people start copying me. You'll never find another one with these these strawberry buttons. You make keychains? Well, I'll have to check that out. Do you have any pictures on your Instagram? I'll check them out. Let's see. Yes, I can ship to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and all of these things I'm wearing you can find on the website. If you just search up strawberry, I believe strawberry sailor pajamas, you'll find this, this pajama set, and then strawberry robe. That's really easy to find. You promote the color pink. What does that mean? <laughs> that mean you post like a lot of things with pink. It's a pretty good aesthetic. Yeah, it'll it'll work. That code is up forever. I might change it down to 10% um next year. But yeah, it'll it'll work all this year. It'll be good. And the quality never fades or pills. Yeah, I mean, it's as it says on the website there's care instructions, so to keep it at its best, hand washing is recommended, but you don't have to. Um and washing on a delicate cycle is always good. Oh, I wish I had my cake. I put it in the fridge so it wouldn't melt, but I had strawberry cake out here earlier. And that would be good to pull out right now, but... <laughs> I have this, because I'm waiting to eat it. It's a uh, matcha... I don't know what it... I don't know the word in English, which is weird, because it's not a Japanese word, but it's terine. Terine. So, that's how it's said in Japanese. I don't know how it's said in English... Um, but yeah, it's really good. 
in Jordan. Let me double check that one for you. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. So for Jordan, it's going to it's going to cost uh about $39. Um I always one one thing I do want to say. This gives me um this reminds me that my website is free shipping. Everything is free shipping, but that doesn't mean that shipping is actually free. It means that I'm paying for it. I'm paying for the shipping out of my own pocket. So I feel like a lot of people don't really understand that and of course, I want to offer free shipping to my customers. Tareen? I'm getting distracted. Of course, I want to offer free shipping for my customers, but there are some countries that are just too expensive and I can't do it. So, unfortunately, Jordan is one of them. It costs $39, and it should show that on my website if you try to check out. Canada or Qatar? Canada? Oh, yeah. I ship to Canada a lot. Canada is just fine. It's more expensive than the United States for some reason, but it's also free. It's not that much more. Um, and am I saying that right? Qatar? God, I hope so. And yeah, Qatar, Qatar is also fine. I don't know what this is doing. I don't know where it came from. I want it to stop. Eh. Yeah, so, <laughs> back to my dessert. Um, I, I kind of messed it up right here, so ignore that. But, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a, like a, a thick, moussey type of thing. Full length. Um, okay, if I can stand up. I've been sitting down for so long, my old achy bones might not let me. But basically for me, this is a size XL. It goes down to like almost my ankles and I'm pretty short. Thank you. My favorite pink item. Oh, that's a good question. Favorite pink item. Oh, look at that. I had it right here. It's this bag. This, yes. This is edible. I'm just waiting because I don't want to be eating on camera unless you guys want me to do like a, a mukbang. <laughs> Which I could do. Ugh. One second. I don't want to accidentally flash you guys. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't see all the way down to the bottom, but like, like, my knees are here, so... Yeah, it goes pretty much down to my ankles. The stuff is so hard to button up with fake nails. The buttons aren't that bad. They're easy to button up if you don't have fake nails like me. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it's good. Do I, um, <laughs> yeah, it's really comfortable. I don't think you'll regret it. And then, of course, you should always check out the hood. Uh, yeah, I can estimate. It depends on the country. Um, one week shipping obviously arrives in one week. Typically orders arrive in two weeks, sometimes three weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. Sorry if I'm missing your guys' questions. Feel free to ask them again. Um, the clothes are, it depends on which clothes, it depends on which clothes, it depends on, <sighs> see this is what I mean when I say my brain's a little slow, it depends on what item you're talking about. This is produced in China, 
Um, but I make sure that all the factories I work with are paying their, uh, their workers really well. Hmm. Yeah, so, it is, it does button all the way down. I didn't button it down all the way. There's one button left. If I can find the hole. There it is. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Um, yeah. Keep in mind I'm short, so like, you know, if you're taller and you order the XL, it might go up a little higher on you. I'm 5'2". It's really hard to show the entire thing. Where am I from? I'm from the United States. See, look, it's back. Why is it here? Uh, yeah, I think I'll post this live. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can order from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, so let me know if I can show you guys more of the robe. Or, like, if you want to see anything in particular, let me know. Here's a close-up on the buttons. And this is how they're sewn on. Well, if you can see it kind of hard but yeah they're sewn on pretty well I will be making the pockets a little bigger um they are a slightly smaller than I wanted them to be and then I will be adding whew, oh my god my hair I'll be adding probably a layer of fabric here so that the back of the seeds are hidden um but can I show the bag again? I'm wearing an XL in this robe. Yeah, here's the bag. I use it a lot. It's kind of kind of getting damaged. Columbia. Hello. Stitching. Okay, hang on. Did I miss something? Show and the stitching. What about the stitching? Oh, show the bag again and the stitching. Stitching of the bag, yes. Okay, this is impossible with one hand. That means a lot. Yeah, feel free to let me know if you have any problems, anything. I'll, I'll do my best to help you. Me and my customer service representative, Max, we will, we will do our best to help you. So let us know. <laughs> yeah, this bag, I'm, this bag is great quality. Like, you will not be disappointed if you get this bag. I've been using it a lot. And, I mean, of course, if you use a bag a lot, there's going to be, like, some scuffs and, like, a few scratches here or there. But it's held up really, really well, so... straps here's one of the places where it ripped a little bit but what is this dot on my nose hmm. see what is like I've never had this this is new to me I don't, I don't know where it's coming from it keeps, like, disappearing and reappearing. Yeah, easy fix. You just cut it off. Not too bad. Yeah, the bag hold, holds up really well. Yeah. I, I This is one of the products that I use a lot. Right now, I'd be using the, the robe a lot more, but it's summer. And Japanese summer is, like, the hottest place in the world. And that's definitely an exaggeration, but it's really hot. So... So I can't wear this during the summer, but in the winter, oh, it's going to be perfect. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Uh, I'll probably end the live pretty soon. Um, 
But if you guys have any questions or you want to chat about something, now's the time. Mm. My nose, man. <laughs> yeah, like I said, other places sell the same item, um, just a cheaper version. It's not as well made, but again, like, the sleeves are not going to be as long. The robe itself won't be as big. I'm offering larger sizes. Excuse me. Larger sizes, and, uh, it's longer. The fabric is better quality. The sewing is better quality. Strange, um, strange thing to notice, but if you buy this from other places, if you look at the original images, you'll see that the sewing style on the bottom is different. So, like, it's cut off right here at the seam, right? It's cut off and a different piece of fabric is re-sewn on. And, honestly, it's not a necessary process. It's not very important. <laughs> But the original product had that, and so I made sure that this one has it too. You can see it really well right here. I don't know what the process is called, but yeah. Um, different sewing style. And I made sure that this one has it too, because that's what the picture is. Like, that's the... The original product has that, even though it's not really necessary. Um, and that's, like, something I'm happy about. Something I'm happy that I did, even though probably nobody will notice. <laughs> My hair is just, my hair is just doing whatever it wants to do. Good question, let me check. Pakistan. I have my computer right here, so. Mmm. Yeah, so Pakistan, yes. Um, although the shipping is nine ninety nine, even the the like standard shipping is nine ninety nine. All right, and it looks like most people have left, so I'm not gonna let people into my life, um, mostly because I don't know what that means. <laughs> as soon as I know what that means, maybe I'll let people into my life, but. Yeah. Hmm. All right, any last questions before I go eat my dessert <laughs> and leave? I have a question for you guys that are still here. What's your what's your zodiac sign? And for the record, I just think it's cool. I don't necessarily believe in it, but I think it's cool. It's like reality TV. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they're helpful. I'll try to do lives more often if I can. I think it's really good to connect with my audience. Libra. Nice. Pisces. Pisces. Mm. Aren't most serial killers Pisces? I could be wrong. Mm. Maybe it's just because I'm a. Uh, oh my god! I'm gonna. I'm gonna sound. I'm gonna sound pretty, uh, pretty silly here, but maybe it's cause, <laughs> maybe it's cause I'm a Capricorn, but most Pisces I meet are pretty wild. It's kinda hard for me to keep up with them. Again, though, don't necessarily believe in it, it's just cool. I don't know. Sometimes it seems right, though. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I heard somewhere that, like, most serial killers are either Scorpio or Pisces. 
So identify with Aries. See, Aries are pretty crazy too. Again, though, don't believe it. I just think it's cool. <laughs> Only you could really say that about anybody. You could find any reason to call somebody else crazy. Am I with Palestine? So, I haven't kept up with, the like, what's going on. Um, which is, honestly, probably irresponsible of me. But I don't like keeping up with, like, news and politics. Uh, so I don't really know what's happening. So I don't want to answer that and, like, say the wrong thing. Um... So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say to that. I'll have to, like, educate myself, and then I'll absolutely tell you what I believe. But I just don't want to say things for the sake of saying them without knowing what it means. Uh, my MBTI. What is that? Moon birth. What is that? M MBTI. Oh, Myers-Briggs. I'm dumb. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm one of the rare ones. The INTJ, I think. I N T. Hmm. I may. Hmm? I think I like teeter on the the brink of I N T J or I N F J. Oh. Well, thank you, thank you for the support from Saudi Arabia. It means a lot to me. Oh, there's like a, a dash A. I think I'm a dash A too. I think. Oh, it's been so long since I've taken the test. Let's see. ENTP. ENTP. Where is it? There it is. Hmm. Intuitive thinkers. P. Hmm. Interesting. That, yeah, maybe. It's been, uh, it's been so long, but, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This, uh, this chat's starting to pick up a little bit again. I'm never gonna get to eat my snack. Um, <laughs> thank you. Why is my phone? Can you order? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. If you go to the website, www.mochipan.com, just place an order there. Yeah, this is so bad for my posture. I have to, like, get close to see the screen, but then if I do that, my back... <sighs> 14 people left. All right. Again, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I'll try to find a place to cut this off pretty soon. I'll give it... Okay, you know what? Draw on the line. I'll give it two more minutes. Two more minutes, and if there's no more questions, then I'm gonna go sleep, because it's like 2 a.m. And I need to sleep. What does mochi pan mean? Uh, I mean, technically it means mochi bread. Um... I kind of had a dream to start a bakery at the beginning of my adulthood. When I graduated, I thought maybe I'll start a bakery, you know, bring some of the, the like mochi bread from Japan to the United States and like sell it in the United States. But that takes a lot of work, a, uh, a lot more work than at least making a website, I would say. <laughs> Eventually, you know, my business now, it's its a lot of work, but at the beginning it wasn't as much work, so I decided to just make a website and call it Mochipan instead. Do I reach Saudi Arabia? Yes, I can ship there. You forgot what to say. That's me all the time. I'm always forgetting. <sighs> all the time. I feel that. I don't have a timer up, but I'm assuming there's one minute left. So go, get your questions in. Go, go, go. What's my name? My name is Ray. R-A-E, Ray. But if I get some Star Wars references, I swear. It's not the same. It's a different. Hmm. Hi. 
Hi. You've come to the end of my live. If you have any questions, let me know before I leave. Where am I from? I'm from the United States. But I live in Japan right now. Until June 10th. Thank you. I hope so too. What inspired me to start? Honestly, fear of not having a job. But also, I don't like working for other people. So, you know, if you don't like working for other people and you want to make money, you kind of have to work for yourself. But as time go has gone on... I've really enjoyed learning about my customers, working hard to make people happy, to offer people good quality and a place where they know that they can find what they want. Because um, there's a lot of websites on the internet, but yeah. <laughs> I have minus two dollars. Japan is great. Come visit it. You'll, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. It's wonderful. Am I familiar with the native language? If that question is asking, do I speak Japanese, then the answer is yes. <laughs> do I know what? If, if you say chicken butt, man, don't say chicken butt. Don't do it. <laughs> Can I say your name? Uh, like your Instagram name? Or your real name? If you tell me what the name is that I should be saying, sure I can say it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's what. Oh, thank you. It wasn't chicken butt. <laughs> Man. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, but there's the chicken butt. You can never escape the chicken butt. Man, I'm sure two minutes has passed, but... Have I been exposed to racism in Japan? Um... I, I think the short answer would be yes, uh, but mostly it's not towards me. It's like Japanese people saying something bad about Koreans or Chinese people or, you know, other races. Um, usually what happens for me as a white person, which is kind of the thing that happens everywhere if you're a white person, is that they like you. Japanese people like white people a lot, so... Although, I, I don't think it counts as racism, but I really don't like getting stared at if I go outside and go eat or if I go to the store. I mean, I'm always going to get stared at. It's just something I have to accept, and it, it gets kind of annoying sometimes, but, yeah. I think that Japanese people are pretty racist, um, but not... I don't know. Again, I don't know that much about, like, racism itself, because I stay away from topics like this because they stress me out, but... I think it's more of, like, they've lived on this island their entire lives and they haven't seen other people, and so they're racist because of that. Whereas, like, maybe other places, they've seen these people, but they have this stereotype or this prejudice in their heart, this, like, deep-rooted belief, and that causes their racism. I think it's a little different. Japanese people just don't really know. Um, but, yeah, I've heard some pretty racist things here. I don't know. When did I learn? I started learning when I was 15, and it took me... I mean, I'll never stop learning, like, I'm... Because I'm not native in this language, uh, meaning, like, I wasn't born and raised in this language. So, it's, a uh, Processing, like, the loading bars right here. Um, huh. I wasn't... I wasn't raised in Japan, so I'll never speak Japanese like a Japanese person. But... I would say to get really good and get conversational, it took me three years, two years. I'm going to learn Japanese in college for my career. <laughs> hiragana, if you look up, I remember I did this drag and drop uh, hiragana like quiz on the internet. If you just look up drag and drop hiragana, you should be able to find it. And that is how I remembered hiragana. That's like, that thing taught me hiragana. Um, and maybe it's not for everybody, but man, that worked for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Man, I'm such a liar. I keep saying I'll leave and I don't leave. Hmm. Duolingo. I, uh, you know, I'm trying to learn Portuguese, and I've been using Duolingo, too, and 
I don't know if I like it. I don't really know. It's not bad. But yeah, you really have to have like a good reason and um, exposure to the language. So like having a good reason to study it and then having exposure, meaning like living in the country or having friends that speak it and just speaking to them in that language. Because otherwise I think it's very hard to learn a language. You learned French on there. Well, that's awesome. Uh, Japanese sucks. <laughs> Japanese is a hard language to learn. It's got three alphabets. Um, and the the sentence structure is, like, opposite to what English is. So, yeah, it's kind of dumb. But you just keep trying and I'm sure you'll get it. It's, if you keep trying and you're dedicated, you'll definitely get it. So, oh, Farah. Your name's Farah. Well, hi, Farah. <laughs> Thanks for joining my live. It's like thinking backwards. <laughs> You're from Indonesia. Indonesia. I want to visit Indonesia. There's so many countries I want to visit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't like my own voice, but... I don't think anybody likes their own voice, so. Thank you guys for joining. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm just kind of hanging out. Don't really have much to talk about except for the robe. I've never been to Dubai. Um, my image of Dubai is a place where rich people go. I don't know if that's true. Um, but, like, I feel like everybody who has a lot of money goes to Dubai, so. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> yeah, this robe, it's, it's awesome. Argentina. Indonesia. Argentina. I, I might, might be going to Brazil this year. Maybe. I wanted to go to a lot of other countries in South America, but I'm pretty sure the borders are closed, so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, I said this earlier, but I'll say it again, because um, I think at this point, like, the people that were here earlier are not here anymore, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> I want people to know that I'm a person and I have one employee, so it's me and one person running this business, and that my customers mean a lot to me. Um, sometimes a lot of people can just feel like a number, like one of the followers or one of the customers, and you don't know who's behind the business. You don't know who you're talking to when you send an email. You don't know who you're buying from. And that can be kind of scary sometimes, because uh, there's a lot of shops on the internet and you never know who's a scam or who's legit so if i can be in japan i will survive in dubai what does that mean <laughs> japan's really easy to live in although dubai J dubai just looks expensive i could be completely wrong that's just the image that i have but it looks like it's expensive you have a cat and he's bossy and king-like that sounds like a cat <laughs> can i say something in japanese Say hello for Argentina. Hello, Argentina. Morocco. Yes, I know Morocco. Say something in Japanese. What should I say? Um... Man, I'm not good at that. Please speak Arabic. I give... No, I don't even know a single word. Um... Sorry. <laughs> I, I know English and Japanese and, like, three words in Portuguese. That's what I've got. <laughs> and, like, three words in Spanish. Yeah. That's what I've got. Hmm. Like, introduce myself. Uh... <laughs> See, 
I I'm 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 suspicious. I don't trust you guys. Um because you might tell me to say something that's like nasty and I don't want to say something nasty on accident and sound like a, an idiot. <laughs> If you were brown, that doesn't matter. Color doesn't matter. Um, I grew up in the... I don't know if this is the correct way to say it, but the Latin part of the United States. So not Latin America, but like right above that, like right on the border. Um, most of the people from the city that I'm in are Mexican. And I, it's just what's normal to me. In fact, it, it blows my mind that racist people exist in this world. That's crazy. There's no reason. It's very stupid. Will I ever be on Honey? I hope so. I've tried. <laughs> Honey's picky with the shops that they want. They they won't let me in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Say that it's is it blank. It's easy. Yeah, if I could read it, maybe. Maybe it's easy, but I can't read it. <laughs> you have an exam tomorrow. I'm so glad I'm not in school. Good luck. What's the exam in math? English? Hmm? Are you, or maybe not even English. Maybe you're not from the US. Uh, what other subjects? Chemistry? <laughs> what else is there? Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> Ugh. History and geography. History, yeah. One of the only exams I ever failed in high school, because I was a good student, but one of the only exams I ever failed was history because I was so overworked and I had so much homework and, like, so many things to worry about that uh, I never slept enough and then I fell asleep during the exam and I failed because of that and I was really mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're similar. <laughs> I have I had all A's and I didn't fail history, but I failed the exam. I don't remember what happened after that. It's all a blur. High school's a blur. <laughs> Math and French. That's cool. Good luck. Ooh, final exam. Is it already that time of the year? What? Oh, yeah, it is. It's the time for school to be ending. Life is stressful. Yeah. I don't, I, uh, this week is exam week. Yeah, I think for my school's exams would have already been over. I think they end like the first week of May or the second week of May. I do ship worldwide, um, but some countries I don't ship to. You can check that at the bottom of the webpage. If you go all the way to the bottom, you click on Mochipan blog, wait for that to load, and then you go down and you click the one that says shipping. You can see the countries that I don't ship to, and then right underneath that is the ones that I charge $10 for. Um, yeah. <laughs> do I ship to Palestine? I believe... I don't. I could be wrong. Everyone loves me. Oh man, if only that were true. <laughs> How easy life would be. <laughs> but thank you. Ugh. My old people bones. Um, third party sellers I, I guess the answer would be third-party sellers, but I wouldn't call them that. I don't feel like that's the right thing to call them. Um, <clears throat> I get them from the original factories that make them. So, I, I guess, would that be what? First-party sellers? <laughs> the, the original factory that makes the product is where I get it from. Although, I am. This robe inspired me, and I'm going to do a whole fruit line of robes like this. The next one 
is pineapple. So I'm going to be making a pineapple robe, and that one is completely designed by me. Original. 100% original. I mean, it's technically like a, a copy of this, but pineapple, so I, I as, it's as original as that can get, right? Go study, yeah, go study. <laughs> Do I have any unicorn stuff? I might. There might be something. Anime stuff? Honestly, most shops that sell anime stuff are selling it illegally. Um, yeah, it's like knockoff anime goods from China that people sell, or like they, they drop ship. Um, and I don't want to get in legal trouble. I th I probably could get away with it, honestly, but I don't want to be that kind of business. So, so I don't sell anime goods anymore, or at least I I might have like one or two things, but. When I find them in my shop, I get rid of them because, again, it's illegal and I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> 17 people. <sighs> what time is it? Here I am looking for my phone when it's right here. 2.44 a.m. I need to go to sleep. So that I can, uh, so that I can sleep. <laughs> hmm. I know, yeah, what am I doing? I've been sitting here just staring at it. I've picked off the little chocolates already. I should go eat my dessert. Yeah, and I've got, I've got this to eat too. It's like a, a leaf. It's called leaf pie. It's a pie in the shape of a leaf, and I don't know what's inside it if there's anything inside it but it looks good be gone <laughs> be gone all right i'm leaving um all right i'm drawing an even thicker line this is the thickest line to be drawn i'm leaving this live um in one minute really really this time one minute so a ask your questions now i'll answer them and then i'm out do I like dolls? Uh, it depends. If you're talking about, like, the creepy, scary porcelain dolls, maybe, like, one or two. I feel like if I had a lot, no. Um, math exam today. Good luck on your math exam. Hi, how am I? I'm good. How are you? It's not cold here. It's summer in Japan, and summer in Japan is horrible. It's the worst. Yeah, rapid fire, rapid fire. <laughs> Let's go. Um... Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't know a lot about those kind of dolls, but I think that's pretty cool. Where am I from? I'm from the USA. I don't know if that's a th thumbs up thing, but meh, I, I guess it could be worse. Uh, <laughs> I want to be from Canada. Man, that'd be cool. It, everything looks good from my, from my perspective. All the things that you Canadians have. Looks, looks good. My minute's up. It's time to go. Thank you. I'm leaving. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for joining my live. It was so nice to talk to you all. A lot of fun. Um, don't forget to get your strawberry, strawberry, my straw. Yeah, I need to sleep. Your strawberry robes. Don't forget to get them because they're super cool. Yeah, I'm in Japan right now. Yep. All right. Last few comments, and then I'm going. Really, I mean it. Yes, I can ship to Saudi Arabia. Alright. Okay, if you guys have any more questions, I'm in Japan right now. Will I do a sale? Uh, yeah, uh, there's a sale going on right now. You should go check out the website, you'll find it. It's the second banner on the, like, scrolling image thing. Bye! <laughs> I'm going now. Um, thank you guys so much. And I'll do another live soon. So if you have any questions at all, DM me. I'm a little slow at answering DMs. I get a lot of them, but I'll do my best. Bye. <laughs>